gorgeous, how are you doing? We're back at the Bush Skin Clinic. I'm gonna have filler done on my lips and I think maybe cheeks. I don't know actually. A couple of weeks before I go off to Thailand for surgery, so I need to get some stuff done. The Tioxin branded headband. Because you know, it's a good product. And <laughs> they sure it is. On brand. I'm a rock in it. Oh, yeah. How athletic do I look now? Oh, athletic as fuck. So yeah, so it's so not sponsored by Tioxin. Then, just so we know, but it's a good option. Tioxin. So we're gonna take uh, some before pictures. Plan. Danielle is considering having some cheeks done today. Feminine faces have more of an anterior projection. Um, from the lateral view, we can see that Danielle is quite flat across her cheeks. So by giving her a little bit more, it'll be more feminine. So I'm going to go target the deep fat pants and then I'm going to target the superficial fat pants with the cannula. Deep fat pants, needle. Superficial fat pants, cannula. So we've got deep fat attached to the bone, and we've got superficial fat above the smas. Product, Tioxane Ultra Deep for the deep. Branding. Branding. We're going to target anterior projection here. So we're going to try and give some apples to the cheeks. So if the pain starts going high, we need to stop. It's literally just a tiny pinch when you start and it's slowly getting a bit more sore of it. Daniel's also considering some limps, which are quite good anyway. Limps? Limps. That was, that was something for the future. <laughs> we were talking about limps, yeah? I don't limp in Thailand. Yeah, exactly. Um, lips as well as a limp. I'm going to go the same on the other side. That's the weirdest part because you can kind of feel the needle scrape on the bone. As I've been having these done over the last sort of year and a half now, considering I've had no bone work done, the changes that it's made to my face have been insane. And for a fraction of the cost of getting bone surgery done. Precursor to having it done, yeah, so you it, can uh, actually assess where it's going to go. You get, it's, just, it's, semi, it's only semi-permanent, so we get to try it, see what we like. Think, oh, okay, and then you can go into the, the full bone work surgery, the permanent surgery, with mm. a really good idea of what you want to get what done. you can create. So we're going to go a little bit into lateral surf, but we're not going to put much. It's going to be 0.1 in each of these. She's going to get her limp. limp. From having some lips. It's a joke there somewhere. So the next bit, RHA4, RHA, Tioxin RHA has won all the awards this year. Best filler on the market. We are going to use this as sandwich technique, superficial over smas to create a little bit more following in the cheeks. It's more dynamic, it's more elastic, it expands and contracts, it mimics natural hyaluronic acid in the face. See between the two cheeks now there's a definite difference between the two cheeks. This is up much more than that one. They're still quite full from a transgender point of view. To start with lips as full as that, that is not a male trait anyway. Males normally have much more narrow lips than that. For Danielle's lips, RJ. Two softer product. It uh, mimics the natural movement. It's going to give some hydration. It's not going to overdo it. So I'm going to draw some spots, and I inject gently, no bruising, no trauma. Create some nice new lips for Danielle. Yeah.
so now you can see the difference between what I would use and a few other people and what is generally used is this long needle. If I use this long needle and go in that direction, I can go straight through the lip. I can't go straight through the lip with that. Wet dry border being the big fence that we need to stay in front, this will go straight through it. We might try and put a little bit of a smile, turn the corners up, a little bit more fullness, but not much. And in the middle, because women have uh, fifths in their face, we all have fifths. And you can see how that's now enhanced compared to that side. And you can see, have a look at that. Shit. I've used. Wow. Last guess? <laughs> I've used point, point 0.3. Wow. So there you go, you can see with six injections, we've created a natural lip without any real swelling. Crikey. So there we are, I've got a numb face and it all looks a bit blotchy now because, you know, numb, but cranky. As I said on in there, the whole point of this is to be able to do facial feminization without the surgery. I'm still going to have the surgery, I'm talking really funny because I've got numb, numb lips. Um, but this means I can see what the outcome is going to be like for a fraction of the cost of a bone surgery. We can try stuff, this can be undone if you need to and you can try stuff and see what you like so and the difference between now and a couple of years ago is insane so i'm loving this but what do you think as always leave your comments below i'd love to know what your um, views are and if you like this sort of content and you want to see more of it then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that little alarm bell so you get informed of everything i do as always don't forget to share like subscribe if you didn't like it well you know what to do that's fine Popping up over there is the last video I put out, and below that is the video YouTube thinks you should watch next. Sometimes it's the same, it's not my fault, they do that sometimes. Thank you so much for watching, I shall see you in the very next show when my lips won't be numb anymore. Bye!